Hi, today on this Cabinet Vision Minute episode, I'm going to give you a quick overview of how you can create what I call a quick bid inside Cabinet Vision. So what that means is we're going to build an estimate for a client uh, without drawing a single cabinet, without laying out a single wall. Here's how we do that. Okay, inside Cabinet Vision, the first thing you're gonna do is start a job. Just like you would lay out, or just like you would start any job, you first put in some customer information. You select a cabinet style. In this case, this job is going to be a flush inset, and to do that, we need to set the hinge as a flush inset hinge. Like any job, we would select hardware, uh, select a door. So I'm going to select uh, just a shaker door. Okay, good enough to get it started here. So I'm gonna click OK, and I've already taken the liberty of labeling some rooms for this job. I'm only gonna use the kitchen for the purposes of this demonstration. Like I said, I'm not gonna draw anything here, so I don't need to lay out walls. I don't need to lay out rooms. What I do need to do is go into the order entry screen and I need to get some takeoffs from the job itself. So over on my layout bench I have, and it looks like I have uh, this large job. It's 163 linear feet of base cabinets and 130 linear feet of uppers and 12 linear feet of talls. Okay, a lot of cabinets. Um, what I like to do for a flush inset type a face frame job is I like to take those linear footages that I have and divide them by four. Now the reason I do that is because I want to get a rough count of the cabinets that would be in this job. So I'm just kind of averaging out the linear footage of this job to give me a count of the numbers of cabinets. Uh, and the reason I do that is because I want to have cabinet vision calculate certain things like numbers of drawers and numbers of doors, etc. So it needs some rough idea of how many cabinets are going to be in this job. Uh, and without laying it out, dividing the linear footage out by four is going to give me a pretty good uh, idea of how many cabinets. Uh, if I wanted to take a little bit more time to do that, instead of just doing an average, I could actually count the numbers of cabinets on the job and then put that in here. But I think because this is just a quick bid, it's not a detailed bid, I'm just going to use this method of dividing my linear footage by four to give me a count. Of, of those base cabinets, I'm going to go into the custom cabinet catalog, take some base cabinets or take a standard base cabinet and slide it up here into uh, this first position here. Then I'm going to take the width of that cabinet and I said I'm going to divide that by four. So that's going to mean that this is going to be a four foot base cabinet. And the quantity on that is going to be, in this case, 40. Okay. And I'm going to do the same thing for my bases and, or excuse me, with my uppers and talls. Okay, so now that I've done that, I have a count, 40 base cabinets, three tall cabinets, and 32 upper cabinets. Now I can go back to the bid center and using the, the cost plus bid center package from Craftsman Engineering, I've populated these uh, rate tables for this. So it's good to go to, to, to give me a quick bid. So I'm gonna go into the bid center. I'm gonna go into internal mode. And I've already selected the rate tables on this. And so for the purposes of this, I've uh, only taken uh, a few uh, rate tables that I have set up. And I'm going to expand this out. And it's already given me a bottom line figure of this is my break even point, 45,571. And this is how it breaks out for each of those for uppers and bases. I don't want to give all this information to the client, but I do want to give them a, a room total for that by bases, uppers, and tall. So this is the, the level of detail, the granularity that I want to expose to the client in the proposal that I'm gonna to give to him in the form of a quick bid. Uh, but I'm also going to mark this up because I'm in the business to make a profit. And so I'm gonna mark it up in this case by 30%. So now that 45,000 becomes uh, 59,000 and change. I'm gonna run a simple report and copy all this.
and then bring it over into my word processor, which in this case is just Google Docs, and, and that's it. And that's how we use Cabinet Vision to create a quick bid uh, using the Cost Plus Bid Center. 